I saw videos on TikTok where someone was showing the Aldi vegan range and I was so curious by the options because they had some really good options that I wanted to try for myself. So, <laughs> I went a little crazy. Some of them do say I'm new in the package, but I don't know if the rest of it has been around for a while. They have vegan cheese. I'm really curious to know what this is like. I'm not a big cheese lover. Maybe vegan cheese might be the way to go. I got some meat alternatives. I've got peri peri chicken and fajita beef. But I was thinking with these, I can maybe make wraps. Got some meatballs. This one is spicy sweet corn fritters. That was more like I just liked the way it looked and I really wanted to try it. And I have some ready meal options. We've got mushroom bolognese and coronation chickpea curry. A lot of different things to try. I saw a TikTok about vegan smoked salmon, which is wild. And I really want to try it because I really want to know what that's like. But after looking everywhere and online, Taz had no luck. Sad times. The first thing I want to try is the cheese. I'm just really interested to know what it tastes like, what the texture's like. Would I be able to tell the difference? So I thought for breakfast I could make myself some cheese toasty. Got my bread ready to go. There's a consistent brand in here. Oh wow, that does feel legit. Okay. Oh my god, guys. That actually smells quite legit. Like, if someone presented this to me, I wouldn't be able to tell that that's not real cheese. Oh, it's quite firm, you know. I am impressed. Granted, it doesn't take a lot to impress me, because I'm not a big cheese eater, but from an amateur's perspective, very, very impressed. Okay, it does have the same texture as cheese too, you know? Should I try some? This is like being in a science class or something. Mmm, okay. Taste-wise, I'm not convinced. I mean, I'm gonna see what it tastes like when it's melted, but it does have like a plasticky kind of consistency to it. Which, to be fair, if you eat like cheese slices that like you put on burgers, that's kind of similar, so... For those people who are cheese lovers and they want a vegan alternative, I'm just not sure if this would satisfy your needs. I mean, completely honest. I wonder if you put this with other ingredients. I'm gonna put butter and garlic on my toasties. I wonder if you put them all together, will it be like decent? It's not a crazy amount of flavors going on. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna put the cheese on top, like so. Vegan cheese on the bread, let's put it in the oven. And in it goes. It's melting quite quickly, actually. Whoa, look at the bubbling on that. This is what they look like. A very strange consistency. Now I'm just going to sandwich the cheese and pan fry it. Ah, it's hot. <laughs> it's done. You must remember, pans are hot, ladies and gentlemen. So that's what it looks like. Looks pretty good. I was really intrigued to try it. Just curious to see how much it looks like cheese. Whoa. Okay, moment of truth. Let's try it. Mmm. It's not bad. I'll be honest, there's not much of a taste to it. I think the bread and the garlic I put on, I think that kind of adds to the flavour. It doesn't have a strong cheesy taste to it, which is probably why I like it. The consistency is very, like, gooey. I do like it. It's a very creamy texture. It's got a very gooey consistency. It's like melted plastic. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Does my opinion really hold any strength amongst cheese lovers? Probably not. I was really nervous about this one. I didn't think I would like it. I have been persuaded. Breakfast? is off to a good start. For lunch, I want to try the ready meals. I chose the mushroom bolognese and the coronation chickpea curry. So I'm gonna try them both out. I don't know if you've seen those TikToks where people dish up their dinner. Literally half of my algorithm on TikTok is just watching people dish up their dinner. And this feels a bit like that. In today's dish up lunch with me, we have mushroom bolognese. It looks quite impressive actually. That looks nice. And then we have coronation chickpea curry. It looks interesting. <sighs> Can't get to my food. There we go. We're in, lads. The second dish is looking really good too. That is beautiful presentation by me, I must say. I'm gonna just quickly heat these in the microwave. I have both lunches in front of me. They do smell good. First we have the mushroom bolognese. Hmm, I'm not feeling that. Oh, well, that's a shame. The texture's a bit off with that one. Yeah. The textures just aren't hitting with that. Ready meals, anyway, are very hit and miss. So, yeah, this one I'm not crazy about. It's okay, it's not bad. I think you're better off just making your own. I'll give this a five, just because I don't feel any either way about it. I don't think it's awful, but I don't think it's great. Kind of meh. Mix. I'm really hoping because it smells good. It actually tastes good too. This is a chickpea, carnation chickpea curry. Mmm. I mean, it's definitely for the mild palate. I would just put a bunch of hot sauce on this. The flavors are really nice. It's quite sweet. I thought I would prefer the bolognese over this one, but now that I've tried them, this one, 100%, is like in a different league. It outshines 
the bolognese by a mile. It's more sweet than what I would prefer, my personal preference. Oh, that's why. It's got raisins and sultanas in it. That's wild. It's just not me. The ready meals, I'll be honest with you, kind of a fail for me. We've got to put it into perspective, right? If you want something cheap and quick to go and you don't have the time to cook, 100% go for it. Okay, I'm going to finish my lunch and then I'll catch you guys at dinner. Okay, it is time to test the protein. On your left, we have fajita... No beef. And on the right, we have no chicken fairy fairy. I don't even know if I got that right, but you know what? We move. I'm hoping this one. I wasn't meant to do that. So I thought I would make a guacamole with like tomatoes and chilies and lime, good stuff, and make it a wrap with these. The ready meals, wasn't a fan. I'm hoping it can only go up from here. One of the things that was bad about those is I didn't have much control, like I didn't have much to work with. So with this one, I'm, I've got more control and I do like a good guacamole, so, you know. If you want to look at a tutorial of how not to cut an onion, keep watching. Huh. So for this recipe, I'm gonna saute pepper, onions, make a bit of guac. And I think that, with the meat, should be a lovely combo. And with a side of spicy sweet confritters. Sounds absolutely divine. I'm literally just copying what they've suggested on the packaging. I'm just so creative like that. Also, I'm gonna be making the meatballs in a sauce and then maybe having that tomorrow. Also, I wanna go on a hunt for that salmon. I need to try that salmon. Whether it's in this video or in another lifetime, I don't know, but if that salmon actually tastes like real salmon, then we are in the future, lads. Bit of chili, because I cannot make anything without chili. According to the packaging, this tomato is out of date, but it's been in the fridge and it looks fine. <gasps> Beautiful. I learned a new tip. You know to get the seed out, you just gotta push there. And apparently it just pops out. It's meant to be a lot riper than this. So this is not good. That's more like it. Now we're getting somewhere. Big garlic in that. Onions, tomatoes, and a lot of lime. Salt. I got the salt. What? That might have been a lot. Oh no! Oh, that's a lot of salt. That is so much salt. I might have messed up here, lads. Before I start putting it into wrap form, I will try them individually just to see what they taste like. Kind of nervous. This is the fajita beef. Let's see what the texture is like. It's not bad. It doesn't have a crazy amount of flavours to it. It does taste a bit like squidgy. This is the peri peri chicken. They honestly don't taste that different from each other. Same squidgy texture. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's tofu. I do have to stress, this is Aldi vegan food. So we're not expecting miracles here. And these are the fritters. Which I want to try. Ha! Oh, so hot. I do like it. It's okay. Let's make a wrap and then we can give it a proper taste test. We got some peppers and onions. Got some guac, which is questionable. Pop that in there. And this one I'm gonna put the beef one in. Looks quite cute. And this one, I will put the chicken one in. Chicken. Let's try it. Big boy bite. Not bad. I don't know if I'm vibing with a vegan meat. I just don't know. The texture's throw me off. I don't know if I like it. I don't think I like it. Things that are like fake meat but are vegan. I've had quite a few of them recently that were really, really good. I don't know if this one quite hits a mark. I'm sorry. Right, let's try the, the beef one. This one's better. I would say the fajita beef is a lot better than the chicken one. It's a bit smoky. If I was to recommend one, I would say the beef. Still not super convincing. It's like I'm not thinking, oh, I'm actually eating meat right now. Which is what I'm lucky hoping, but we can't expect miracles. But it is good. It is tasty. I think the chicken one doesn't taste so much, so I wasn't getting much from it. But this one, I'll give it a solid seven. Will I get it again? Probably not. But I appreciate it. I appreciate what they're trying to do. It's not that bad. How many times have I said that in this video? I don't know, but it's not that bad. Oh, rotten the lovelies. Another day, another day to try more vegan Aldi products. I went to other Aldi stores to try and find the vegan salmon. I really wanted to try that vegan salmon because I saw some comment that it actually is quite convincing and it tastes a bit like the real thing. If anyone watching this has tried the vegan salmon, can you let me know in the comments section below um, and let me know what you thought of it? I couldn't find it anywhere. So instead, I have picked up a pizza and some chicken burgers. Still gotta try the meatballs and we have an exciting finale. Well, hopefully, we shall see. Da -da -da -da. Ice cream! How exciting is that? I feel like dinner today is gonna be quite interesting. A lot of cool goodies to try. This is 
barbecue jackfruit pizza, which sounds intriguing. Also, I put this in the... This was in the frozen department. I put it in the fridge. This is what the pizza's like now. Oops. So soft. This is what the chicken burgers look like. They look quite convincing too. I feel like we could be onto something here. What are we gonna do about this? Gonna try and get this all done in one piece. Oh, gosh. Don't know how I'm gonna do this, hun. Oh, it's so sticky. Oh no, it's not working. If it's a frozen product, keep it frozen. You know what, we might just have to turn this into a calzone. It's the only way, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, oh, we did it. Wow, look at my pizza. That's tragic. Oh, gosh, that's, that's awful. Look what I've done to the pizza. We'll just shove it in the oven and it'll be grand. Listen, learn to this video. Do not put your frozen pizza in the fridge for hours. It's time to dish up. We have the meatballs. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that looks real nice. We got chicken burgers. Quite excited to try this, you know? And then we come on to the pizza, which is still a struggle. I am not vibing with whatever this social experiment is. Don't even know if you can call it pizza. Okay, and we got the pizza. Nice. It's time to taste test. I think I'm gonna start off with the chicken because that looks like the most appealing to me right now. That looks pretty legit. Ooh, okay. The texture is quite soft, but it is tasty. Like, I would eat that if the texture was a bit more chewy. But I know it's possible because I really like the plant-based um, chicken burger from Burger King, and that texture is really good. I feel like this with that texture would be incredible. But no, I like it. This might be my favorite thing I've tried so far. Now we come on to the meatballs. I cut the meatballs in marinara sauce. Texture, this one's a lot more firm. It smells a bit suspicious. Wow, that's good. I really like that. I am such a texture girly. I think texture makes such a big difference for me because I imagine the meatball in itself probably doesn't have a lot of flavor, right? Because the texture is a lot more firm. I really like it. Wow, maybe they won me over. Well, it's too soon to say because we still got the pizza to go. This is the barbecue jackfruit pizza. Gonna have a very open mindset to this. Let's give it a little... Oh, that ain't right. They've got barbecue sauce coming out of the crust. Didn't know that was part of the deal. I don't know about this one. It's a bit weird. The dough, it feels raw. I feel like it is cooked. The sauce is very overpowering. And they've got like barbecue sauce coming out from the crust. If you like barbecue, maybe you might like it. I'm just gonna just try the jackfruit part on its own. Yeah, not a fan. I don't think I'm the target demographic for this one. Now we come on to dessert. As much as uh, it's been a mixed bag, I will say Aldi really has come through this Veganuary. I don't know when this video is coming out. It's probably not going to come out in January. This is all part of Veganuary. Even this is new. Ooh. I don't know why this feels like a science experiment. Whenever I try these like food that is meant to be something, but it's not the real thing. Blows my mind. One absolute beauty. That looks pretty legit to me. Mmm. Ooh, it's nice. Okay, that is really nice. Does not have the consistency of ice cream. This flavor tastes like something I've had before. I just don't know what. So we saved the best to last. This is definitely my favorite thing of everything I've tried. Very sweet, very lovely, very my kind of thing. I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed. I want everyone to go out and try this because it's so good. Anyway, I'm gonna now probably have another ice cream, not gonna lie to you. I don't know if I'm gonna sound really dumb right now, but like the ice cream, the ice cream doesn't melt or do anything. I hope you guys enjoyed me testing out the Aldi new vegan range. I don't even know if it's new. This one is, but I don't think they're all new. Anyway, I'm waffling now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you lots. Please know they matter. And I shall see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.